What's up, Cloud Residents? And I'm right back where I started and ended on the last episode in Orberg City, but we just finished that gym badge and we just uh, did a new capture. So if you guys missed that, you better check it out in the last episode. But in this one right now, I will be making my way back to, I think it's like Jubilife maybe. Uh, but first, I'm going to stop in here and I'm going to sell a handy dandy zinc that we just picked up recently. I'm going to sell conversion too as well because that's kind of trash. And I'm going to sell this zinc. And I'm going to check real quick if we have anything else I really want to sell. Not really. Uh, and we're going to pick up... Ooh. I feel like we're about to get, yeah, no, we're definitely not going to get great balls right now. But I'm going to buy some super potions. Play it safe. I still got more of those. Um, let's go ahead and pick up one of each of these. You never know when something's going to happen. And I think I'm going to save the rest for just in case measures. I have to really... Uh, the encounter we got actually was holding uh, that... I'm battling him right now, aren't I? The encounter we got was holding that zinc, so super helpful for us picking up those extra super potions that are probably going to come in handy right now. Oh, no. Nope. Okay. That's actually a lot better. Um, I'm going to need something that knows Rock Smash in a second. So, actually, what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to run back... I'm gonna run back and I'm gonna pick up that Kecleon because I just, I don't see me using the Kecleon. So it makes more sense for it to basically be a, um, I see Shaman being less used right now. But yeah, as you can see, we caught an Altaria in the last episode. Uh, I just realized I forgot to do a team recap in this one, but uh, check out the layout. And if you missed it really in the last episode, it hasn't changed since then so you can check out that last episode and see what would i've got or you could just kind of uh watch how it looks whenever i'm about to go into the team bam look at them wow everyone can learn this there we go and i'm gonna run on back um I'm probably going to check out how to get fossils in the next, uh, between episodes here. Because I don't know how, and I'd like to pick up my armor fossil. So that might be an in-between episodes thing. What's up here? Oh, right, there are Deoxys here. Okay. Oh, you can go down. I don't know if this is the way you're sub wait, is this no over gate is still this. Uh, I guess I'm gonna get that item, like why not? Okay, there's jump pluff. Ooh, okay. That might be something I teach. Uh I can't surf yet, so ooh, I'm pretty nice. Isn't there I guess not. I really hope that lady isn't too difficult of a trainer. Or maybe she's not a trainer at all. Got a great ball. Let me check her out. Oop. Hold on. Oh, so you get a bike and you like ramp over them. Okay. That's kind of cool. I never knew that. So I picked up Great Ball and Team for Blizzard, so that's pretty cool. And I could see them uh, both coming in very handy. Uh, I don't know when we're next going to get an encounter, though. I don't really know how this game works all that well. Okay, I'm, I'm speeding up too much. I'm sorry, like, I, I just kind of want to, like, figure out, like, what's going on in the game. Ooh. All right. I guess we're doing uh, Team Plasma stuff. Oh, he's a mystery man. That reminds me of um, the Magic Man uh, from Adventure Time. 
and I'm gonna pop him up on screen. Um, and he was such a mystery for such a long time. And they like randomly go in like super depth about uh, what kind of character he is and what goes on inside his mind and his origin story. And it's, it's just so interesting. Okay, we're doing double battle. That is not good. Oh my gosh. Battle of the Titans. Oh my goodness. I mean, I'm just going to go for the Razor Leaf on both of them, right? I mean, I kind of don't blame you. But, like, I know you have decent moves. Like, use your punishment or whatever. Alright, that didn't do too much. I should be fine. Please do more than half. Yes. Alright. So the tentacle is definitely gone next turn, so that's good. Man, that loud... Is it, there like a loud thud right above me? And at first I thought it was thunder. And then I looked outside and it's like, oh, it's super sunny. So they're like moving furniture or something. Okay. So... I think that Arceus just used um, Cosmic Power again. I wasn't paying attention, though. Wow. What a necessary crit. Uh, I'm using Torterra right now because he has the best attack and defense at the moment, so it's just safer to use him. Uh, I will be uh, stepping around the, or switching around the team, get everyone some experience. Oh, boy. Nice. Um, gosh, oh, another crit, okay. Um, I'm honestly a little bit worried, though, about subbing him out right now, because I don't... I'm having trouble articulating. I just never know, like, what the levels are going to be with this 30% boost. Like, I'm worried about throwing anyone else out in front. Because the thing about Torterra is he also has really good defenses is this guy gonna give me something oh, i got a fashion case okay thank you i just want to look at my team real quick uh, i guess bottle would like he's pretty defensive uh monk has just good power and ghost rider just has a lack of moves is the biggest issue i'm gonna run over here and heal like, I want to keep my HP as high as possible without using items, because I'm worried what might potentially come out. Like, that was a great example where they had a Reggie Gigas, and I'm just sitting here wondering, what in the world am I going to do to this thing? Like, yeah, I have a fighting type, which, I mean, cool, but he also has to have good defense, or else he's not taking hits from Reggie Gigas. Is this the way I go? Ravage Path? Looks like there are two different ways you can go. Looks like that was more of a water way, but I wonder if there's like an item just chilling. Yep, called it. Okay, I already got my encounter here. I don't remember what it was. Might've been that Kecleon, honestly, though. Ooh, okay. I have someone I can teach this to right now, honestly. Hey, Daisy. It's fine. Ooh, shoo. Haruyama with that? That'd be pretty cool. Good, he could hit other fighting types really well. What else can he hit? Gra he could hit grass types and bug types. Daisy, stop. I just don't, like, I see me using um, Hariyama a lot more than I see me using Nido Queen right now. But I think I'm going to wait and hold on to it. I really want to teach it. But like, I don't know if it's the smartest thing. Let me just let me check out. Oh, wow, your attack stat's so much higher. No, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm just going to go ahead and forget uh, arm thrust. And I just want to see who can learn Blizzard. 
You two again. Nice. Uh, can Ghost Rider... I mean, you have decent special attack, but I think I should save it for someone who can use it better. Oh my gosh. Oh! This is where I got Shaman. Who hopefully will... Oh, wow. The exit's just like right there. Is this a trainer? Is this a different route? Because I saw it come out with 204, but I don't remember what the last one was. Okay, so that's Jubilife. So, no, 204 is not new. I guess I probably could have checked my Pokemon too. Oop, if I did not make that little detour, I would have made it past her. <sighs> Entrepreneur. You know, that reminds me, I was listening to a podcast today uh, as I'm working, because that's what I do. Ooh, boy, it's download. That's pretty cool. Torterra needs a ground type move. Um, so, listening to a podcast today, and they, they, they mentioned uh, Skillshare, like a decent amount. Um, and they were talking about how on Skillshare, there are even like courses for, uh, becoming like an entrepreneur, um, which I don't even know how to describe what an entrepreneur is, but if they make the right choices and investments, they can make like a pretty solid amount of money. I still don't know how to describe of an entrepreneur. Like they basically follow like businesses or maybe they're like a solo there's someone who like just works for themselves basically I, I don't know i don't know how to describe an entrepreneur i'm gonna i'm gonna timestamp it i'm gonna put up like an actual definition of what an entrepreneur is because i definitely feel like i'm explaining it really badly Just becoming like a real question for me if I should just like use Torterra a lot like during the episodes and I can like grind my other team members. But I don't think that's really the right thing to do. I want to try a bottle now having that new uh, drill pack. Ooh, yes, we have the yellow and the blue flute now. Now just give me the red flute and I'll be so happy. Uh, I just kind of want to slip past him. I even have cut yet? No, I don't. Uh, I also don't know if I can slip past these girls. Oh, I can. Sweet. And I'll pick this guy up. Guard swap. Not as good. Mostly because I don't know how to utilize those types of moves. Ooh, Duck Trio. Ooh, it's level 10. Floroma. Flora, Flora Roma, R Rama, Flora Rama, F F Flora Rama, got it. That's where you have like uh, dance parties on the floor, but your entire body has to be on the floor and you just kind of wiggle around on the floor, right? Flora Rama. I feel like I just need to sit with this for a second and feel how bad that was. That was. Uh, I think I'm going to save those trainers, though. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I wonder if there's a uh, person here who will give me a, um, a Gracedia flower for Shaman. Let me put Shaman out in front. Oh, I don't have Shaman in my party. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Because I'm pretty sure Skyform is, like, a lot better. Like, your only actual downfall is that you add a flying typing, which uh, isn't, like, the best because you get a quad four weakness and already have a lot of ice weakness. Okay, let me just switch Shaman in front of the party. I just want to check this out. Okay, so you don't give me anything. I definitely feel like someone here might give me a... Gracidia flower. Okay. Check this house. Just 
random peep. Yes, I think it's cute that Pokemon pluck berries, I guess. That's such a weird question to ask someone who just walked into your house. Mud slap's not bad. It'd be better if like my Needle Queen can learn it, then I'd give it a stab ground type move that it doesn't normally learn. Also, that TV is like flickering. It makes me wonder like, is there like a Rotom in it? Uh, no, it's just talking about a bunch of things that I really don't want to actually read. My nose is hurting from my glasses. Keep slipping down off my face. Ooh, cherry berry? Yes, paralyzed heals. The other one, Warren? I mean, yeah, Warren, Warren berries aren't bad, they're just not great, you know? Okay, I got a spray duck. And what about this girl? Okay, I don't know what Asperberry. Oh, is that the one that heals you when you're frozen? No, I don't know if I'm right. Uh, Asper. Yes, I am right. That was definitely a hard guess, just off of uh, what I do know about certain berries. Okay, no one's giving me a Grace of D at Flower, so maybe I was wrong, and th that isn't what happens here? Um, can I go in here? No. Okay, so I guess I'm going to switch back into Bottle. And I guess I'm going to keep moving on. There's not really much in this town to do. Oh, okay, here's where I can get a new encounter. But I need to pick up this Poison Heal Berry and this Sleep Heal Berry. It's weird how you only get one berry from an entire tree. Wow. Oh, no, okay. I thought she was a trainer and just took a hard turn at me and saw me. No, this is like story stuff. Oh, I can't get an encounter. I'm gonna I'm gonna wait on the encounter. I'm gonna go ahead and get the value. Wooden wind wind works encounter. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, this isn't bad. I can probably tackle this and put it in the range that I want it. Or fake out. Oh, he faked me out. Okay, I see you. Um. But because of that, there's literally no way I can hit you. Uh, let me go party. I think party's gonna be able to hit you pretty well. Like, not too hard, but just hard enough. I could see a Persian being useful later on. Alright, I gotta watch my ranges with this. I'm gonna go for it again. And kind of hope that I don't just like high roll randomly right here. Nice. And I should just be able to throw some Pokeballs and it should just kind of work out for me. Meowth wasn't really worth Premier Ball, but it bothers me whenever I just have like one outlier ball. Because a Premier Ball is basically the same catch rate as a Pokeball. It just feels like it isn't sometimes. Uh, no, I don't really want to call this Meowth Ceiling. There we go, that's the name. I'm going to call this Meowth Comedy. And that leads me into a great topic um, of talking about my favorite comedian, who is Jeff Dunham. Uh, let me, I'm going to pop him up on the screen. Uh, if you guys don't know him, he is a ventriloquist, which means he does uh, comedy with puppets. And uh, he's been around for quite a few years now, probably like 10, no, maybe 10. But he's been doing it for a while and he's had quite a few different puppets like guest star and just appear. And it's just been really good, good, fun stuff for me over the years. Um, just hearing his kind of comedy and other choice specs. <clears throat> 
Um, I could definitely already, and I could pick a number two, honestly. Um, number two would be Tapeface, um, which I only know him because of America's Got Talent. I will not lie about that. And um, I personally feel like he really should have won the year that he did it. Uh, but I understand why he didn't, especially whenever you have the audience vote for him i feel like a lot of people didn't like his appearance or the way he did things but i personally like the weirdness that he did do i'm so uh mm, jumbled with my words right now uh but he, he was very unique talent and i really enjoyed that and i will never have like a chance to um pretty sure he dropped like a card somewhere or something like that Forget what he said though. Um, hmm. I might have to go fight those other guys. Let me find out. I don't actually remember, so bear with me. Oh, okay, or not. So it's not that. Maybe he like. I think he said something, and I'm supposed to have listened to it, but I definitely did not. Um, I'm gonna keep talking about tape face though. Um, and I can I can't really go and see him at any point because he, I think he lives in like New Zealand or something like that, and I can't get there very easily. I don't think I have an item finder or anything. I think he just said something about where this thing is yeah no um oh oh it's killer Tarkry, my uh co-op partner i could have caught him instead of a meow potentially but probably not i can't run from him either There we go. Uh, that would have been a lot cooler than a Meowth. Maybe he like dropped it over here. Like, I'm, I might, I might um, stop real quick and look this up. Cause it's really dumb that I don't know where it is. Maybe it's like, I feel like he always, he says something about where he dropped it or like a key or something. I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop it right here and I'm gonna check out where to go, so. And I am back, guys. Uh, so I found out you have to go into this spot in Floroma Town, um, which didn't take me very long to find out because it's, it's super simple. So I'm gonna get into that. And whoop, I clicked off the game. Um because I kind of have a limited time here, I think I'm gonna have to... Uh, no, I mean, I probably will be fine. Let's see, I stopped for about, about two minutes. Let me just get this fake out. And go for the vital throw. And now I also have a move um, that will do pretty good damage and I don't have to go last with. Oh. Well, when you do it like that. So I'm probably gonna try, for my time, I'm probably gonna try to still stick right around 30, which means I might only do this like halfway through. Cause I think you have to go back to Valley Windworks and do like even more. Ooh, there we go. Uh, let me get this fake out on him. Yeah, Machamp doesn't get that fake out. I'm still a good level for fighting these guys right now, but I still feel super unsafe fighting them. Dang. That was like an entire level just off of Machamp. I'm definitely learning knockoff, and I will get rid of Focus Energy now. Okay. Um. 
You've got Astonish. I feel like... Let me, let me check this out real quick. Uh, 46, 30, yeah. So pretty much no matter what, it's going to be better me hitting with Torterra and just using Tackle. Yeah, you're only level 14. Okay. I don't know what just burned me. You don't, you can't even resist Psy Wave. Uh, let me, let me go into Horizon. Horizon's got good special defense. Maybe choice specs. Nope, choice specs are not going to help me enough. Oh my gosh. Maybe, maybe Party can do it. Just, um... How much does okay pursuit does good damage? I'm gonna go for it and go for the quick attack. Do I? Oh my gosh! If I got hurt by that burn, I think I was dead. That was so scary. Um, I feel like there's something in this meadow or something. So I definitely need to heal super badly. Because I almost lost two mon. Because I think... Oh! Flame body. Flame body. It literally had... No, not... What is it called? Is it a flame body? Flame body is the one that, like, whenever you hit them, it does the thing. Can I get in now? Okay, I got the, I got the key. So actually, uh, I think with a little bit of speed up, I'm going to be able to just finish this. All right, let's go, bud. I'll take you on. Dang, a single fake out killed that Pichu. I'm gonna go ahead and fight this guy. Like, I think the experience is worthwhile to get. Let's go, ooh, boy. I'm gonna go for it one more time. One more time. Uh, let's go for the knockoff. Knockoff? Why is that doing so little? Hang on, I want to check out knockoff real quick. Oh, it's only 20 power in this generation. It gets a lot better. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of get through this battle. Dratini. There's literally nothing a Dratini can do to me. There's stuff an Azelf can do to me, but I'm gonna stay in. Oh wow, dude, this thing's level 22. Get the, get the crit. Get the crit. There we go. Okay, um... So she was level 22, so I need to get everyone to at least 20 for this next episode that's going to happen. Um, do I need to do anything? Oh, no, that was like your dad or whatever. Um, which I will catch you guys on that next episode. Uh, just give me a second. Daisy, you're fine. Um, but before we go, I want to see what that Meowth ability was. I'm very curious. Quit, Daisy. Oh, hold on. I got this. But yeah, I just want to check out this Meowth just real quick. It's got damp. That's not bad. Plus, it'll change whenever he evolves. Okay, guys. So, um, I finished this out, and I'm going to catch you guys on the next episode where I'm probably going to have very slight team changes like definitely adding that altaria onto the team so i'll see you guys then and make sure to like that smash button later